delicious Singapore hawker foods at Hong Lim Food Center. Welcome to another food adventure with Getting Lost. Today, we are at Hong Lim Food Center to eat some noodles in a dish like this. Fish soup, anyone? Does anybody want some fish balls? Some meat balls? Some fish balls with noodles and steamed meat with rice. So join me at Hong Lim Food Center as I eat my way through this food center and discover all the good food that we can have here after the intro. Welcome back! We are here at Hong Lim Food Center because of this. You see there's actually a notice being pinned up here and it says that they're going to do some major renovations here from the 1st of November to the 31st of December. So if you are thinking of coming to eat the food here, you have to come up here soon because if you come here after the 1st of November, you won't be able to eat here until next year. In our previous video, here at Hong Lim Food Center, we have covered lots and lots of good food like the famous Ocean Park Chao Kui Tiao, the Hainanese chicken curry noodles, even laksa. So what we're going to do this time, we're going to look around, we're going to find out more food, more delicious food, more good food that we can eat here at this food center before it closed down for renovation. Let's start off our food adventure today with something a bit healthy from this shop called Fragrant Hong Kong Pork Rib Rice. And this shop sells steamed meat together with rice. So you can see the board here. So you can have a quite a variety of different types of meat you can have minced meat, you can have pork ribs, you can have chicken together with mushroom or chicken with Chinese sausage. A normal dish like that will cost you around $4. So this is the dish itself. What I ordered here is actually the minced meat with rice. And this is the basic dish. Then you can actually add in additional vegetable, additional Chinese sausage for 50 cents each. Or you can also add in a soup for $2.50 so what happens is the meat and the rice is actually steamed together to create the dish itself so all the juices from the meat itself also penetrates the rice so the meat from this uh, minced meat here the steamed minced meat is nice and tender the rice is slightly firmer than normal but still has a very nice bite texture to it the minced meat is seasoned well and has nice and has preserved vegetables inside to give it extra flavour. Overall, a very delicious and yummy dish that goes very well together with the rice. And I came back again, tried their pork ribs instead, and I added their vegetable. The vegetable itself is just average, it's overcooked, nothing and already under seasoned, a bit uh, under seasoned. But the pork ribs itself is still nice and tender and it has a very nice preserved soya bean taste that actually penetrates into the meat that makes it really really good and delicious. Up next, let's have some soup from this shop called Lao Ke Fish Soup. And this shop actually sells fish soup with different types of soup base. So what I ordered from here, I actually ordered a double fish soup which comes with both fish slice and fried fish. So the soup itself, first of all, is a very clear stock fish soup and the soup itself is good, it's flavorful but it has an aftertaste of bitter gourd because they actually put bitter gourd in the soup and majority of the flavor and taste actually comes from the garnish that they put inside like deep fried shallots, spring onion and also the 
deep fried egg that they put inside there. The fish slice here, for me, I thought it's quite normal. Nothing really special about the fish slice, but fried fish. The fried fish itself is still crispy even though you put it in the soup and has a really nice fresh fried texture to eat when you bite into it. That's because they actually fry the, the fried fish in small batches at the shop itself for your for your uh, in small batches. And there's also lots of vegetables in the soup itself. So this soup is actually good and goes very well with rice. And opposite from the fish soup shop is this shop here called Sarawak Kolomi uh, Jeans Noodle Amoy Street. And here's their menu. They sell a variety of noodle dishes. But what I ordered from here is actually their Kolomi, a spicy Kolomi, cost me $4. And this is the dish itself. First of all, the noodle. The noodle itself has a soft outer layer with a firm inside layer. And when you bite to eat, you can actually taste that. Not too dry because in Singapore, a lot of the kolomi are very dry. This one is not too dry, which is good. But what's, what I really like here is actually the sauce. The, the sauce mixture is quite nice. And it also has a very nice spiciness to eat that actually tickles your tongue and it's a very ple pleasant feeling I quite like that and the char siu itself is not bad just that it doesn't have a lot of char to it so it doesn't have a lot of burnt caramelized flavor but still a very good char siu Singapore style char siu and a good noodle dish an all round interesting and nice noodle dish and a few stalls down is this shop called Hong Kong Handmade Fishball Meatball Noodles and here they sell uh, fishball noodles so what I ordered from this shop itself is something that is good for people who are not feeling well under the weather feeling sick I actually ordered fishball kwetiau soup uh, the cheapest one is $3 I ordered the $4 portion and here it is the soup itself is really good you can actually taste that they actually cook the fish balls in the soup itself and there's actually the flavor of the fish balls there and if I'm not mistaken there's a slight preserved vegetable taste to the soup itself and that makes the soup really really yummy and goes well with the kwetiau the kwetiau itself is soft and good and it's healthy and has a very homely feel to it which is good for those days that you feel sick the fish ball itself is handmade and it's a lot softer than those you get uh, when it's factory made. It has a nice softer bite to it. The meat ball itself is not fully made of meat. There's also fish in there. But when you bite into the meat ball, there's a burst of meaty flavor that you get from the meat ball itself. Bursting out from the middle. It's yummy and delicious and goes well. And sometimes you just want a snack and the good place to buy a snack is at this shop here called Stanling Crispy Curry Puff. And what they sell here? They sell crispy curry puff. So they sell two types of curry puff, the chicken curry puff and the sardine curry puff. And here they are actually folded and made freshly at the shop itself and also deep fried here directly daily. So the, the curry puff itself is nice and fresh and nicely deep fried so we have two types of curry puff here the one here with the red dot is actually the sardine one the sardine one okay let's talk first about the the skin itself the skin itself is nice and crispy but it's not fluffy but it still has a very nice crunchy crunch to it just that it has the skin itself is not very fluffy and then you have the sardine and the potato the potato itself has been recently deep fried so it's still nice and warm and hot inside and because of that the flavors of the curry everything all comes up very nicely and it complements the egg the chicken the curry flavor all goes very well together except for the sardine the sardine one is different because normally sardine you don't actually have an egg in the sardine itself but this one here has an egg when I tasted it, it just tastes like they have normal 
curry chicken uh, curry chicken curry puff what they did is they just add in a bit of sardine into that mixture to make the sardine curry puff so for me what I felt was the sardine itself is not very special just concentrate on eating the normal chicken curry one and lastly we are here at Kyongki dumplings to have some rice dumplings some sticky rice dumplings and this shop here they actually have two locations on the second floor is where they actually sell the dumplings and on the ground floor the first floor is where they actually make the dumplings and as you can see here uh, the two old aunties here are actually folding the dumplings and putting in all the ingredients inside here so first of all they take the bamboo leaves they fold it and they will stuff uh, the glutinous rice inside there and then after that they put in the filling and then they will wrap it up and then tie it with the rope and the rope itself will tell you what type of dumplings you have and here this is the prices for the dumplings and over here they also have a dumpling that um, the other side don't have which is the Nonia dumpling okay. and here is also cheaper than the shop at uh, Amoy Street first up you have the Hokkien dumpling which cost me $4 it has a uh, water chestnut, mushroom, salted egg and a pork inside there and then I also ordered another one which is the Nonia uh, dumpling which it cost me $3.30 the one on the top there the one with the red with the white um, string is actually the Nonia dumpling the one with the purple string is actually the Hokkien dumpling and the size of the dumpling of the Hokkien dumpling is actually much smaller than what you get at uh, Amoy Street Food Center but of course you pay it's a cheaper price here and the dumpling itself first of all the rice of the dumpling the rice itself certain part of the rice is actually a bit undercooked and then also the ingredients itself is not very really generous there's small piece of pork and the ingredients itself is also not very really generous as compared to the one you paid more money for but what i really like from this shop here is actually the nonya dumpling or the one on the top itself it's nice and sweet and it has a minced pork which is sweet and they also add in candied winter melon in it and it goes very well together with the glutinous rice and they actually did the nonia dumpling really really well and let me just cut through it and just show you how it looks like uh. so look at that you have the pork minced meat and then you have the candied winter melon it makes a very unique and very yummy delicious uh, the rice dumpling which I felt that this shop here did the Nonya dumpling quite well and quite delicious and if you want to try you should come here to try the uh, Nonya dumpling as if, but if you want to have the Hokkien dumpling I would suggest you to go to the one at Amoy Street Food Center the one the rice there is much firmer here the rice is actually a bit loose not very well done and the ingredients not as generous this brings us to the end of our food adventure here at Hong Lim Food Center a food center with lots of good food we have been here before and we are back here again but the reason why we are here again let me remind you is that they're going to do renovations to this place so from the 1st of November to the 31st of December this place will be closed down and you will not get to eat all the good food that you want to eat so come down here before they close for renovation and eat the good food that you want to eat and before we go let's there's lots of good food here so you need to show your friend that you know how to find all these delicious good food by First of all, liking my video, then sharing it with your friends, this video, and lastly, subscribing to my channel. But the most important thing, the thing that you must do is to join me for my next adventure. See you then. Bye-bye.